space giant, it's Billy Joe with David Letterman. guest Rob Burnett, was Paul Schaefer, and the CBS Orchestra. And now, the Indian guy of the new daughter coin, Nice to see you. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm Dave. Let's get those t-shirts on. Come on, here we go. When you come to see this show, not only are the tickets free, I gotta buy people clothing. Oh. Hey, uh, you know, you came at a nice time of year, a springtime here, but be very careful. Allergies in New York City, yeah, have never been worse. Allergy season extra bad. I'm in the park today, walking through Central Park. I saw an old lady tossing Sudafed to the pigeons. <laughs> and then I bought her a T-shirt. Here you go, lady. You know, you're, you know you're having a bad allergy season when you hear a bee sneeze. <laughs> that is kind of cute, except for the kids. Hey, bee sneeze. how many of folks have been watching the uh, Jesus uh, miniseries movie here on CBS? How many have been enjoying the Jesus? Part two, of course, was on earlier tonight, and uh, I think you can understand this. They, I think they took a lot of creative licenses, a lot of historical inaccuracies, I think, in the... For example, uh, The Last Supper yeah. was hosted by Billy Crystal? No. I, didn't know. Really? I don't think so. And then Jesus sits down before dinner, and they tell him if he wants the chocolate souffle, he'll have to order it right then. Right. <laughs> Did that happen? Not the I feel bad for uh, Rudy Giuliani. Don't you feel kind of bad for this guy? What a run of bad luck. He's really down. The guy is really down. Insiders today say that he no longer gets a kick out of rounding up the homeless. <laughs> Bum. Bummed out. Hillary, uh, Hillary, Hillary and uh, Rudy are now uh, tied in the polls. You know Hillary. She's the happily married candidate. <laughs> She was uh, up in Albany yesterday. Hillary was uh, nominated at the convention for the uh, Democratic uh, candidate for senator, and her husband, uh, President Clinton, surprised her by flying in. Yeah, he dropped everyone he was doing and. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, boy. And now. Hillary says she plans to devote herself to improving the lives of New Yorkers. And I'm thinking, well, what? She's moving back to Arkansas? <laughs> what? Right over there, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend. Can you see him from here? Can you see him from where you're sitting? There he is right there. Look. There he is. There good friend. You see it? That's my good friend Paul Schaefer. He's right over
much. Ladies and gentlemen, let me uh, tell you who's on the uh, show tonight. Get ready to set your VCR. We get another big, big show tonight. Another great show. Another, uh, it's a kind of show you don't see everywhere. We got one for you here tonight. Is it? <laughs> Hugh Grant, motion picture oh, star, big Hollywood. We love it. British accent actor. Hugh Grant is on the show. Yeah. From the world of popular music, yes. one of the greats, the legendary Carly. Oh, the best. Bye. Earlier today, everyone over there at Carnegie Hall. I've been there, yeah. Folks been to Carnegie Hall. What a beautiful, have you ever been to Carnegie Hall? <laughs> My God. It's a, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, landmark known around the world, and uh, acoustically, I think it's uh, gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, 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 second to none. Yeah, and uh, I had to go over there uh, earlier today where they were doing a thing for uh, CBS. They were announcing the uh, new, uh, the new, uh, the new what, Dave? The new... Fall uh, schedule? No, the new windshield wiper. Wow. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, I had to go over there, and uh, uh, I was invited by the, uh, the man in charge of the uh, CBS television network, Les Moonves. Oh, the of course. Invited. Yes. That's well, there. What a time we had. Had a good time over there? Oh, man, what a time we had. So there's like 3,000 people sitting in the uh, darkened uh, 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 Carnegie Hall. Yes. And it's uh, the most beautiful spring day of the year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so right away, you know you're in good hands. <laughs> And I think, uh, I think Moonves, and he's a nice man and a TV genius, so you can't take that away from the guy. I think he's going nuts because he comes out, and, the, and I don't even know what this means. He's dressed like Moses the whole time. <laughs> he's dressed like Moses. What is that? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Did you ever see William Paley running around in a robe and a stick? <laughs> no, never saw it. <sighs> but, you know, I, far be it for me to tell him how to run his network. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but... Um, And it was, it was a lot of advertising people, and advertising people uh, uh, are great, you know, they're just great when they're drunk, which is, <laughs> which is most of the time. I see. Yeah. <laughs> e except the middle of the day. Right. And, and, then, and then they're not drunk, and they're not paying attention, because what? They're thinking about getting drunk. That's right. <laughs> But it was great fun, and I was happy to be a part of it. That's nice. <laughs> you know, uh, the campaign, you know this, uh, uh, we're in kind of a, uh, we're the horse latitudes of the campaign now. There's a lull. There's not much going on. You know, you have uh, Al uh, Gore, uh, Al W. Gore, and then George W. Bush. Yes. <laughs> And it's the, the campaign is kind of running out of steam because uh, Rudy now, uh, he's busy with all his, uh, his wife and his, all his girlfriends. Uh, so they don't know what to talk about. Did you see this uh, latest campaign commercial? I don't even know who paid for this thing, but it's, take a look at this. It indicates a great lull in the campaign. Watch. George W. Bush says he's pro-education, but let's take a closer look at his record. Well, actually, it's not that bad. <laughs> what the hell has Al Gore done? Well, that's not fair. Gore's done some stuff. And there's that whole cocaine thing with George W. Bush. But really, who didn't party a little during the 70s? I was poked out of my mind during the entire Ford administration. But then Al Gore, oh, I don't know, paid for by citizens who are undecided but kind of leaning toward Al Gore. But then again, it's only May, so, you know, it could still go either way. What? What the first? What? I see what you're saying. Here's what we do. Every now and then we send uh, somebody out to a supermarket and they, they bring back uh, items that you find on the shelves of any supermarket in North America and then we, we have fun with it. Paul, here we go. Oh, a supermarket find. You'll never know what David's got in mind. He'll have a comment crazy. We'll find those supermarket finds. Okay. These are, uh, and I share this works, I'll show you the uh, supermarket find, uh, I'll tell you what it is, then I'll have a, a comical remark. Yes. I'll have a humorous, I'll make a humorous comment. Yes. All right? Okay, here's how it goes. This is something called the imitation car phone antenna. <laughs> imitation car phone antenna. Now, here comes the humorous remark. 
To make sure your pretend phone calls come in crystal clear. Humorous <laughs> remark. But I kid the advertising people without them, what would we, we wouldn't have commercials. Exactly. <laughs> Kind of like a monkey, didn't I? <laughs> All right, speaking of monkeys, look at this. This is Johnson's Endangered Species Bubble Bath. <laughs> endangered Species Bubble Bath, the perfect way to relax after a long day of poaching ivory. Citrus uh, flavored saliva tablets. Ooh, these bone dry powdery tablets should moisten my mouth. I've never seen such a thing. Have you, Paul? No, I've never seen such a thing. You don't, you don't do the marketing in your house, so you probably have people who go out and market. No, I do my own oh, you? When's the last time you were in a supermarket? I was in a supermarket just last week. Yeah, what, what's a loaf of bread cost? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I told you about that one I had where I asked the guy, I said, where do you keep the bacon? And he says, right next to the eggs. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. I thought, man, that's genius. Where that's, else? Yeah. <laughs> that's American genius. Marketing. They had all the, they previewed all the uh, big, new, beautiful, exciting shows for the uh, CBS Fall Network. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'm telling you, we got some shows. Anything good? Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks damn good. What do you got? Well, a lot of shows that you'll see. Okay. <laughs> they got that Jesus show. I think that's going to be a regular. Is that really a series? <laughs> it's gone to series. He plays a single father. Got a couple of kids. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Here's the uh, cholesterol hair conditioning cream. It's like a quintuple bypass for your hair. I get that right side up? Hmm? Ah, ah. Yeah, there you go. This is uh, Mestermacher, all natural famous German fitness bread. You stay in shape by throwing it into the trash. Bet Midler have a show on. Uh, a oh, she's got a show. She got a show, on, and it was I don't know uh, what this was, but before the thing, she was backstage uh, making out with Mike Wallace. <laughs> okay. That's cool. Canoodling is that what she was doing? Was canoodling? She, was she canoodling? I don't know. What that's what they always. That's a new word. You, you musicians with your. I know. We're with our kids. <laughs> Uh, here we have magnesium uh, citrate. Can you see that? Magnesium citrate right there. It's the sparkling laxative. Uh, kind of old. This is what they have in the water cooler at 60 minutes. <laughs> That's what they say. It's at Dave Johnson when he does the horse race. Yeah, very exciting. I got the uh, second uh, crown of the triple jewel, the second jewel of the triple crown. It's the Preakness. Huh? Preakness. Is it the Preakness? Preakness. And then the Belmont Stakes. Yeah. Belmont Stakes is the longest of them all. That's your two, true test of the thoroughbreds. What is that, like six miles? That's <laughs> a mile and a half, the Belmont Stakes. Is that right? The, the Derby's a mile and a quarter. What's the Preakness? Huh? Huh? In Anybody? Between. Huh? It's what? Between. It's between? In between the two. Oh, brother. Good. <laughs> He's dressed up because he was at the big uh, CBS. He thing. was over there? How'd you think it went, by the way, Buster? I thought you were fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody in the audience is doing this. It's three o'clock now. How, how many hours will it be till I can, you know, have a cocktail? Because I don't, I don't want to do it too early. As I'm out of town, the wife will get pissed, so... <laughs> seven. All right, the earliest I can have a drink is seven. It's three now. Oh, look, there's heart attack boy.
Okay, here's a sweet pickled watermelon rind. <laughs> you, know, you know that part of the uh, watermelon that only raccoons eat? <laughs> well, here it is with a little sugar. <laughs> I tell you, uh, there's a brand new show on CBS that looks pretty good. It's the Jim Gaffigan show. Looks pretty good, don't you think? Christine Baranski With and Jim Gaffigan. Christine, Gaff huh? Christine Baranski and Jim Gaffigan. Yeah, they co-star on this show. Brand really? new show. That looks pretty good. Really? Yeah. Who's producing that one? Why? Well, I, I can't say. Ah. <laughs> but now, finally, maybe there'll be some heat at the network. Okay. Based on that show, wouldn't you think? It's a great show. That, that, that and the Raymond show, the uh, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. Have you... Those two shows uh, and, and the uh, Daytona 500, that's the only thing CBS has going on. Am I right? CBS doesn't oh, have no, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Late Late Show with Craig Kilborn, yeah. that's another great show. And the Daytona 500. Uh, this is something called Chalk Aid Milk Chocolate. Finally, a way to get your kids to eat their Band-Aids. <laughs> Like Jane Meadows. You're right. Those jokes? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. She, she used to wear big, big, big hoop earrings. <laughs> Jane Meadows reference. <laughs> you folks are thinking about a drink now, too, aren't you? <laughs> okay, here's something called Pop Star Boys Briefs Made in Bangladesh. There you go, made in Bangladesh, yeah. And yeah, nothing says pop star like Bangladeshi underwear. <laughs> Comfortable elastic weight band. They got a weight band. Now. Weight band. Weight band. Weight band. Weight band. Everybody wears underwear, though. Everybody wears underwear. Well, speak. What? Speak for yourself. Huh? All right. You see here. This is a doggy toy. It's called Yapples. Yapples. This is a medium. That's a medium right there. This is uh, something. It's a ball. You see, and it's got a hole in it. See, like that? Right there. Okay. And you see what it says right there? Uh, only dogs know the secret of the hole. That's not true. I think we all know the secret of the hole, don't we? When we uh, come back, ladies and gentlemen, top 10 Hillary Clinton campaign slogans, Hugh Grant and Carly Simon on the big broadcast tonight. Come on back. Bond. James Bond. Explodes on video. The world is not enough. Buy it today on special edition VHS and DVD. Doctors define social anxiety disorder as an intense, persistent fear and avoidance of social situations. Over 10 million Americans suffer. Do you? Is your anxiety around people so intense it can feel like a panic attack? Paxil offers new hope. Has your overwhelming anxiety significantly impaired your work or social life? Paxil offers new hope. Paxil, the only medication proven effective for social anxiety disorder. Paxil helps correct the chemical imbalance that may be associated with this disorder, so that with time and your doctor's help, you can move toward recovery. Paxil is not for everyone. Tell your doctor what medicines you're taking. People taking MEOIs should not take Paxil. Side effects may include decreased appetite, dry mouth, sweating, nausea, constipation, sexual side effects in men and women, yawn, tremor, or sleepiness. Will you ask your doctor for more information about Paxil? Do it today. Your life is waiting. On May 24th, the mother of all nightmares is on the loose. The impossible happens. Ah! Tom Cruise. 
Mission Impossible 2, rated PG-13, starts Wednesday, May 24th. Some home improvement stores have been telling you that they have lower prices than the Home Depot. Somebody's been very bad. You can sit around and wait for some home improvement store to offer lower prices than the Home Depot, but it's not going to happen. Transports have arrived. Special allocations are here, and now we've got our best selection of new Nissans ever. Our grand opening rolls on at Valley Nissan. Great values like a 2000 Sentra GXE 13988. That's over 2500 off retail. 2000 Frontier King Cab 4x4 2198. That's over 3300 off. Plus a great selection of pre owned like a 94 Nissan Pathfinder 9988 or just 174 a month. Or a 94 King Cab 4x4 7488 or 119 a month. Our grand opening sale at Valley Nissan 1010 South 1st Street, Yakima. From the home. I want you to be there for me. To the streets. Bye, guys. From the bedroom. You are a lion, Team Megan. To the altar. He needs to marry me. Or he can walk. Through the tough times. This can happen to me. And the good times. You are beautiful. Wherever life takes you, Sally goes there. Sally Jesse Raphael. The address for Sally. Weekdays at 4 on KIMA. coming lovely isn't it? it's like that today it's that, just that beautiful but where is it is that a sightseeing boat does that go out to the statue of liberty that's not the staten island ferry it's, it goes out it goes out to liberty island right it's the staten island ferry uh, it's just, no it's not the staten island ferry it's not coming from staten island it is the staten island ferry coming back to manhattan that's where staten island is i, th I thought it was up and over this is to look like it's coming from liberty island oh no wait a minute let me see it again i could be wrong Oh, yeah, that's the Staten Island Ferry. There it is. <laughs> I see. I got all screwed up. Ah, that's beautiful. That's a lovely sight. That's just beautiful. And it's just like that. Just like that. It's just that nice here in New York City. It is a today. gorgeous day today. There you it's are. just that easy. <laughs> I got one of them Craftmatic adjustable yeah, beds. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hugh Grant is on the program tonight. Uh, Carly... Let's get right to, uh, let's do the uh, campaign 2000 first because we got a lot of stuff I to don't... talk to. Turn on the thing. Here we go. Campaign 2000. So we're doing the campaign 2000 first. Here we go. Okay. What happened there? How come we couldn't do that first? Seemed like we ought to have been able to do that first. I thought we, did we just do it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Paul, do you have anything for Campaign 2000? Uh, nothing uh, tonight, no. Okay. Rob, do you have anything? I got a lot of stuff. First of all, the Kentucky Derby, we now know the Kentucky Derby is a mile and two furlongs, and I'm told that a furlong uh, is an eighth of a mile. So that's a mile and, uh, that's a, mile and a quarter right there, the Kentucky right. Derby. That's right. Now, here we come to the Preakness. That's this weekend, one mile and uh, one and a half furlongs. How long is that? Uh, huh? What I, do you think? I, 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 it's, a, it's a mile and a, 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 a mile and three sixteenths. Mile and three sixteenths. Am I right about that? Mile yes. and three sixteenths. Now you get down to the Belmont uh, Stakes. It's one mile four furlongs. Paul, how long is that? That's uh, I don't know. I failed that. It's a mile and a half. It's a mile and a half. This ain't exactly college bowl here, is it? <laughs> All right. And the other thing. Uh, the shows here on CBS that are carrying it, you have Everybody Loves Raymond, you have the new uh, Jim Gaffigan, uh, Christine Baranski show, you have a late, late show with uh, Craig Kilborn, and I said you had the Daytona 500. Well, guess what? What happened to there? No, they don't, it's they don't gone? Have, they don't have it. They don't have it anymore? What have they done with it? Well, the, the race still exists. What? Oh, that's... Yes, doesn't have it. <laughs> Huh? Well, who I, think I, th I believe it's NBC and Fox. Are well, well now how come here. CBS doesn't have the damn thing? What am I going to watch now? <laughs> what am I going to watch? Now there's nothing for me to watch in this network. You should have asked last this today. Oh, yeah. Well, why was he running around in that robe? <laughs> he's a tiny man, too. The guy running the network, he's a tiny man. Is he? Oh, so he comes up to about came here up on to there. <laughs> he was the original circus boy. He was the on TV. <laughs> he was the circus boy. 
right. Now, the other thing, I got a bone to pick because last night we ran the uh, top 10 list and uh, I'm here busy reading, I'm just doing my job. And then at the end, I look up and I realize that they had taken the A out of every letter that had an A in it. Did you notice that last night? I did. I, was... yeah, I didn't notice that last night. It was busted. So not only uh, do we run the top 10 list, it's now like a crossword puzzle. <laughs> Where you gotta like fill in the blank to get the joke. And believe me, most nights just trying to get the joke right. hard right. enough. <laughs> just hard enough. And now. <clears throat> And, and so I look up at the screen and it looks like the name of a cab driver and it don't make any sense. I'm just like, what? What? What are we looking at? And, and nobody, nobody decided to tell me, Dave, the pilot. I'm flying the rocket ship. Nobody says, okay, don't tell Dave. Don't, I didn't, but is it fixed? You were scared. You, <laughs> and, and then later, they fi uh, what a nightmare. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't, I, hope to, I just hope to God you don't get your own talk show. It'll kill you. It'll just kill you. Uh, 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 the thing is busted. I wouldn't tell Dave. <laughs> we uh, we kind of know what we're doing here in the control room. I wouldn't tell. I don't tell it. Anymore. I'll take full responsibility. Don't waste your time telling Letterman. Kind of a hothead. He'll go nuts. It went pretty good, so we didn't tell him. All right, close up campaign. If you can do that, if that's not the Campaign 2000 has been brought to you by Crystal Clear Party Eyes. It's not a party without party eyes, and it's not Crystal Clear Party Eyes unless it's Crystal Clear. The way party ice is supposed to be. Have, have you been to a party where the ice was cloudy? Now, how did that make you feel? Like a loser! Crystal Clear Party Ice is really, really clear. And it to the back. Right. I want to mention one thing tonight. Tonight is the uh, final episode of Beverly Hills uh, 90210. It ended its 10-year run. Tonight is the final episode. Well, it's about Beverly. damn time. I'm sorry, Alan. What I say it's about damn time. <laughs> is there something on your mind, Alan? What's the problem? Dave, have you ever seen that show? Well, yeah, actually, I, ha I have seen What a pile of manure. What? <laughs> the fact that these airheaded middle-aged losers pretending to be teenagers stayed in the air for 10 years simply amazes me. <laughs> Who watches this what? I say good riddance. All right, fine. Thank you. Dave? Thank you, Alan. Dave? Yes, Alan? Can I go to my dressing room? Yes, I think maybe that's a good idea. Good Lord, what has happened? Powerful. We'll be right back here, ladies and gentlemen, with Hugh Grant.
24 hours. Hello, ladies. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. One chance. chance. To save. Here, let's run. Man, this guy can drive. Gone in 60 seconds. Produced by Jerry Brock. Directed by Dominic Senna. Starts to night. Can you believe this 77-year-old grandmother is out to catch a killer? Betraying her was his first mistake. 48 hours, Thursday. Linda McCartney captured the images of the greatest rock stars in the world. My daughter is hanging around with a bunch of long hairs. But it was one of the beat. Excuse me. Do you know if there's an AM PM around here? Sorry, Mom. I can't help you. I cannot eat any more lobster. Come play AM PM's Heat Wave game. Buy a beverage and you could win food and drink prizes instantly. Or the grand prize, a trip for two to any beach in the world. But remember, not every beach has an AM PM. This kind of bites. Play the Heat Wave game and you could instantly win a trip to any beach in the world. Look! We're really back this time with a free instant installed at Charter Cable. Call tomorrow and get free installation up to three TVs. Hook up to digital cable and try the Charter Movie Value Pack. HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and the Movie Channel. All ten for $19.95. So call tomorrow and get connected to the wired world of Charter Communications. Entertainment, movies, sports, and news galore. Charter Cable's free instant install up to three TVs. Call us tomorrow. Offer ends Saturday, May 20th. The address for Maury. Weekdays at 9 on KIMA. Small Time Crooks, it opens Friday. Here's Hugh Grant. You come on out. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. How you been? Uh, I'm I'm groovy. Uh, groovy. You're the one we wow. worry about. So. No, no, you don't need to worry about me now. So not, I was, no, I was bad news. I, you know, because we, uh, we don't get the show till much, much later in England. So uh -huh. I only <laughs> recently found out that you're. It comes over on the boat. What? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. And, and how are you? You seem like a fairly healthy guy. I'm pretty healthy. Yeah. I'm pretty healthy. I like to think I am. Um, you know what I'm jealous of, actually, is. Uh, is how good your doctors clearly are, because they had that lovely program when they all yeah. came out. Yeah, they were great. They were yeah. fantastic. I think American doctors are good, don't you? Yes. Well, in my experience, they're yeah. pretty good. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think English doctors are good too. I, I just, I'm, I'm bad at choosing them for some reason. Well, so you have to be careful. Yeah, you've got to be careful. Yeah. My latest, uh, I just changed doctors because I, I had a doctor who, every time I went there and said, I, "Doctor, I've got a sore throat," he'd say, "Oh, so have I." <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And then I have to say, so really, how long have you had that, Doc? And uh, this would go on for hours, you know, and I ended up writing prescriptions for it. It's needlessly um, annoying, isn't it? Very annoying. Yeah. So I dumped him, and I went to one I thought looked much more professional. Uh, but, you know, you go to him and you say, Doctor, I got a sore throat, and he says, right. And any trouble downstairs? <laughs> and um, this is his obsession. He won't leave my downstairs alone, so... And he, he's, he's, he's speaking figuratively there, I guess, or I don't, what does that well, mean? Well, I don't think he's worried about the setup at home or anything like that. No, I don't. The cellar, no. Yeah, no, I don't think that's his concern. Uh, but I don't, I don't know, I'm just a bad chooser. Bad dentist, too. Or at least sinister dentist. Good with teeth, uh -huh. but uh, frightening. In yeah. that. I went to him on a very hot day the other day in, in, in England, and uh, he did my teeth. And, but as he, as he turned round, you know those smocks they wear yeah. that do up at the back with laces? Right. There was a gap. And he was wearing nothing at all underneath. Oh. <laughs> nothing, not even pants. That sounded like the downstairs dentist to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good yeah. lord. And, uh, and uh, what is this thing with uh, Elizabeth Taylor was honored in uh, your home country? They made her a, a dame, is that what they say? She was damned. Damned, yeah, yes. damned. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the I may be wrong. I'm not, I'm not up on that stuff. Uh, and, and, and how does that, she's not a citizen of your country, is she? How does that work? 
Damn it, she is, isn't she? Is she? Elizabeth I Taylor? So. Yeah, I would hope so. Otherwise, why are they making her a Dane? Well, that's my question to you. I'm, they might as well make you a Dane. I'm, but, uh, well, why not? Yeah. I'm, I'm woefully ignorant. So, she, so she's British? Uh, yes, she, of course she is. Born in Britain. You well, know, let's turn uh, this over to Paul. Paul? It's news to me. I've never heard of that. Well, she's not Canadian. We know that. That, um, that I know. Yeah. But, uh... Well, I, you know her. She's a very nice woman. How many furlongs in a mile? Oh, Eight. never mind. <laughs> is it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah you were paying yeah. attention. No, I've never met Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, she's lovely. She's very nice. Very mm -hmm. nice. Uh, she's very kind to me and uh, other Elizabeth in, in L.A. once mm -hmm. and invited us to lunch. This is Elizabeth Hurley? And this Elizabeth Hurley, who yeah. sends uh, you her love well, and a pinch on the bottom, which I thought was saucy. <laughs> yeah. I will administer that later. Give my best to her and everyone downstairs. <laughs> she's wearing that out. Yeah. But... No, Elizabeth Taylor, very nice. So very they, they get her over there, this is the thing that the Queen runs, right? Um, I don't know that she actually runs it, uh, but she does, <laughs> she does the business. She, uh, you know, attacks them with a sword. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they yeah. get up and they're a dame. Then you, you've, yeah. you've spent time with her? Uh, the Queen or Elizabeth Taylor? Either, um, either. Well, never enough time with the Queen, um, <laughs> but she's very busy. It's mostly on the phone we talk. Oh, I see. Uh, but Elizabeth Taylor, yeah, no, we went to our house in L.A. It was what very is, nice. What is that like? It must be uh, Oh, posh, yeah, gorgeous, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. lovely, very, very um, beautifully done, mm -hmm. quite English. And uh, I just feel bad because I got a bit bored in the afternoon after lunch and started snooping around her house ah. and uh, was actually caught in her closet. Really? <laughs> yeah, I wanted to have a look at her clothes and all that, but luckily... <laughs> The person who caught me was Shirley MacLaine, so, um... She, she was in the closet ahead she'd, of you? Well, she'd come in for a snoop as well. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. She was going around saying, I got that, I got that. <laughs> yeah. how's, um, how's your buddy Prince Charles? Charlie? Yeah. Good. good. He's good. <laughs> have, you, have you known him a while, or you just met him recently? I had never met him until the other day, when I was at some strange dinner and uh, he was sitting next to me, kind of where you are. Well, I'm him, you're me. Thank you. And um, <laughs> he was incredibly nice, very charming, funny, all that. But I, I felt sorry for him because he, he was leaning on the table like, being Prince Charles. And um, <laughs> he did one of those. Oh! And uh, yeah, I thought that's, that's bad luck if you're the future king <laughs> yeah, to do that. So. It's, not, it's not cool. And, but, and, but not, you know, unfortunate to do it once. Mm -hmm. but what was interesting is he then did it three more times. <laughs> What do you suppose that means? We don't know. We have no idea. Maybe, maybe one of his ears shifted? <laughs> Is that a joke? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That goes your Dane Hood. Yeah. Uh, but he's not. He's a very nice man. You know, he's very committed as well. Right. Very, uh, he, he does a lot of uh, b b b beneficial things. Yeah, but, but also he's a man of ideas, you know, and he was uh, lamenting... Uh, the fact that as a member of royalty, he has to, you know, be nice to terrible dictators when they come to England, ah. you know, the Ceausescus and all that. Ooh. And uh, I think I went too far. I, I was really too sycophantic in the end. I kept saying, you know, it's marvellous, marvellous, <laughs> you're saying that. And when you're king, you know, you should be a real king-king, really rule. <laughs> and I think, um, I think it went down badly, actually. <laughs> but what a nice man. <laughs> That's just stupid, you know? <laughs> God. Um, let's talk about this movie. This thing looks really funny. This is a you and, and, and a Woody Allen movie and a, and a great cast, right? Uh, that's right. It is actually unbelievably funny. Yep. It's him sort of going back to his early stuff, like mm -hmm. Bananas. Right. Uh, and, you know, I didn't really know what it'd be like because you only get your own pages in a Woody Allen film. And everyone told me it was funny. And I didn't believe it till I took um, four of the most unpleasant people in Hollywood to see it the other day. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> They've never said a nice word about any film. How do you, how do you, how do you narrow it down to just four? What, <laughs> what, is, that, what is that competition like? Yeah. <laughs> wow. We'd have courtesy vans running all day to bring him in. <laughs> and they loved it, you know? They, lo and they, they really hate being nice. They sat there. They didn't, you know, they can't laugh because they lost 
the power of laughter some years ago. <laughs> but they sit there going, that's funny. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Well, it's a really uh, a silly premise that's very, very uh, funny on top of it. I mean, it, it's uh, bank robbers uh, yes. uh, 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 bumbling, uh, led by Woody, and then you're the guy that kind of uh, uh, comes in contact with his wife. It's, uh, well, we have a clip here. Let's show him a clip. A very bad summary, yeah. Thank you sure, very sure, much. Sure. Do you know what we're going to look at? Um, yeah, this is, um, they, Woody and Tracy Ullman have got rich, mm -hmm. and they want to get cultured, so she comes to me there to learn go. to be cultured. All right, here we go. Woody Allen, Hugh Grant, Tracy Ullman. What did you think of her plan? Oh, well, I, I just got to tell you, I thought the whole evening was apocalyptic. Apocalyptic, yes, really? Yes, totally. Yeah. I mean, I really was a gog. Well, me too. I mean, she's fabulous. She's fabulous, and I have to asseverate, she deserves accolades. Now, Francis, you've been memorizing the dictionary, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I got the A's. Next week, the B's, right? Hmm. How do I look? Well, I have to say that that dress is just gorgeous. See, your influence low-key, right? Well, it's, that's a very flattering thing to say. Mm -hmm. Ray thinks it's Dollsville. David. Paige. Wasn't her choice of the Rachmaninoff inspired? Wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we yeah, loved it. At first, I thought it might incur my animate version, but soon I realized it was opposite. Aha! <laughs> I think I should drink at last. <laughs> Here you go. Hugh Grant, Grace Gilman. And Elaine May is in it as well. Elaine May is hysterical. She plays the dumb, the dumb sister, she the dumb cousin. She plays the dumb sister. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very funny. Yeah. Uh, the film is called uh, Small, Time Crooks. Small Time Crooks, and it opens on Friday, and it's uh, just a really, really funny, nice piece of work. <laughs> nice to see you again. Yeah, Hugh. I knew it. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Hugh Grant, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for the top ten list. Horsepower Nissan Pathfinder. There's business in the air. Three salesmen. He's honest. Oh, well, that is a problem. With one night to land the sale of a lifetime. Surprise. Roger Ebert raves The Big Kahuna is full of sharp humor and surprising insight. It confirms Kevin Spacey as a great American movie star. Danny DeVito gives the best performance of his career. You think you're ready for the big time, Bob? Throw me in the water, see if I can swim. Oh, I think you're kind of missing the point here, Bob. We're about to throw you off a cliff and see if you can fly. The Big Kahuna, rated R, starts Friday. Everyone knows someone who can really talk. Here's a tip. Tell them about MCI Five Cents Every Day. What do you think? I think you're the greatest basketball player ever, Michael. You're really, really With MCI Five Cents Every Day, calls are only five cents a minute, every evening, and all weekend long. I have a friend who plays very, very well. Not like you, he just plays for fun. Not that you don't have fun playing basketball, but you have done lots of fun. If anybody can use MCI Five Cents Every Day, he sure could. I'm just saying... Just tell your phone buddies to call 1-800-EVERY-DAY to join. Do it in life? Do it on the web with the power of the Pentium 3 processor. And find out how to get even more from the Pentium 3 processor at intel.com. 16 real castaways, 39 days, $1 million. On this island, there are no lifelines. Survivor, coming to CBS May 31st. We want more home for our money. Welcome to our clean suite, the Palm Harbor. Palm Harbor Village and clean up with red tag discounts up to $11,000. Save on every home. Sell center models, even custom homes, order direct from the factory. Own a new double wide for just $2.79 a month. Yes, $2.79 a month. And there's room for the whole family. Palm Harbor Homes, more home for your money.
What should you do to stop a friend from driving drunk? Whatever you have to. Whoever you are. I'm space. Wherever you are. Look at you, girlfriend. Whatever your problems. Don't you have something to say to your mother? I'm sorry, mother. Whatever your fantasies. Some girls got them and some girls don't. Wherever life takes you. It's my life. The day you have children, it isn't your life. Sally goes there. Sally Jesse Raphael. The address for Sally. Weekdays at 4 on KIMA. Everybody at home knows this and uh, thinks I'm the dumbest. Oh, thing. good. But she was born in. Uh, See, I didn't. I was not aware yeah, of that. Right around the turn of the century. I did not. Know. <laughs> Here's tonight's top ten list, ladies and gentlemen. think of uh, Liz or Miss Taylor as an American treasure. See, that's how ah, I, and it, it occurred to me that she was, in fact, born in London. Of now that I see that, I do, in fact, remember that I knew that at some point and forgot about it. Here we go. Okay. Category tonight, uh, top 10 Hillary Clinton campaign slogans. She's going to be your next senator. Here we go. Hillary Clinton campaign slogans, number 10, because no Clinton has ever disgraced the office of senator, number nine. <laughs> Is the machine working tonight? Don't, just, just don't, don't tell Dave. Number nine, I'll try not to misplace or shred important legislation. Number eight, endorsed by the CBS Jesus. I don't know what that means. Number seven, if you slept with my husband, the least you can do is vote for me. Number six, I've loved every one of the 17 days I've spent here in New York. Number five, of the two insane power-hungry candidates, I'm better at pretending to be nice. Number four, Vote for me or I'll have Bill poison your water supply. Number three, never indicted, knock on wood. Number two, I can run New York hell. I ran the whole country. And the number one Hillary Clinton campaign slogan, where do you see the scandals I'm planning? There you go. But right back with a lovely Carly Simon. Autobuytel.com. Thousands of cars, low upfront pricing, and free delivery. Auto financed by, auto insured by, auto delivered by. Autobuytel.com. Coors Light on ice. On ice. Are you like tired? Because you've been running through my mind all night. <laughs> Let's rearrange the alphabet, put the U and the I together. No, it's... No. Hey, uh, can I buy you a Coors Light? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Tonight on your Late Late Show from Jesus, Jeremy Sisto, DJs Kevin and Bean, the music of Leona Ness, plus a scratch and sniff hobo. <laughs> CBS Friday. The original Dukes of Hazard are back and trying to strike it rich in Hollywood. I love this town. John Schneider and Tom Wolfat star. Hazard in Hollywood. Then, end the night with a bang. Nice shot. <laughs> Join Teresa Russell and Stone Cold Steve Austin for Nashville's season tonight. I have a dream. I walk out onto the high dive platform at the Olympics and make the perfect back two and a half twister. dream come true? Nah, I'm a pole vaulter. There'll still be some limits to the dreams of Olympic athletes, but none for Olympic Games spectators to Visa, the only card accepted at the Sydney Olympic Games. I can't even swim. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Oh, 
Linda McCartney was more than just an American girl who married rock's greatest star, mother. I will always be there. Activist. People in our position should make a difference. Photographer. Performer. The woman who inspires all my silly love songs. See the real Linda McCartney in a world premiere movie, CBS Sunday. new crunchier nachos with chips made fresh all day long our crunchiest tastiest nachos ever get an order of nacho supreme for just 49 cents when you buy any drink grande taste local value only at taco bell what we do in life echoes in eternity gladiator is the number one movie in america time magazine says gladiator is big daring entertainment a hero will rise and his name is russell crowe gladiator rated r now playing everywhere how much power do you really need? The GMC Sierra Extended Cab has the most powerful standard engine of any truck in its class. Not because you need it now, but because one day you will. And being prepared for that day is what having a professional grade truck is all about. Now get up to 1622 average finance savings with 3.9% APR, $500 cash back on a 2000 Sierra three-door extended cab. Another beautiful day. Talk to your doctor about Claritin. Ah, your dream home. <laughs> you thought it was too good to be true. And you were right. Honey, honey, wake up. The appraiser, remember? With HUD's FHA Home Buyer Protection Plan, you get the right loan, a fair price, and a thorough appraisal. If any problems are found, you'll know about them before you close. 30 million Americans have trusted us to build their dreams. Call for information on HUD Homes and FHA loans. HUD and FHA are on your side. Are you going to make us rich, rubber band? How'd you know that? Critics agree. Small-time crooks has big-time laughs. Well, you're waiting for the drilling season. <laughs> And Gene Shalit raves, I went bananas over this smart sleeper. So take the money and run to see small time crooks, Woody Allen, Hugh Grant, and Tracy Ullman. You get your hat on backwards. Yes, so? Small time crooks. Give the flashlight goes in the front. Yeah, but it looks cool like this. Rated PG. Starts this Friday. CBS Saturday on the outrageous early edition season finale. Gary has to survive a trip to the past. There's gangsters trying to kill me. To change the future. Freeze. All new early edition. Then you're invited to the wedding of the year. Marriage. No way. Excuse me? When Walker finally says... I do. A special two-hour Walker CBS Saturday. The next time you plan a car trip... Try packing it all up in an Accord LX from Honda. With its roomy, comfortable interior and spacious trunk, it'll hold everything you remembered to bring. And some things you forgot. Now get special APR financing as low as 3.9% for 36 months on new four-cylinder Accords. guest, listen to this, has won two Grammy Awards, a Golden Globe, and an Academy Award. Her acclaimed new CD is called The Bedroom Tapes, and the song that we're going to hear this evening, I, I think, could have, could have been written about me. I don't know that it was, <laughs> but it could have. Really? Well, listen to What's it. What's it called? I'm not going to tell you. Just All right. listen to it. All right. Here she is, Carly Simon.
When you're low on cash, even a simple repair can turn into a huge problem. Call Check and Go. We'll give you the money you need today and hold your personal check until your next payday. Check and Go. We can help. When the money's running low, even your most important expenses can become a major obstacle. Call Check and Go. We'll give you the money you need today and hold your personal check until your next payday. Check and Go. We can help. Bad cheetah. See? That's why I'm not a cat person. All your favorite Pepsi Cola products in the full case are on sale at Red Apple for only $4.99. Stop by and stock up today. With a rebel yell, she cried more. Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Todd. Mornings on 94.5 Cats. We know you're sick of that commercial. So we decided to get rid of it once and for all. Still, we invite you to tune in. We're giving away stacks of cash and a Harley. Plus, classic rock that really rocks. Besides, if you don't listen, this kid's going to do our commercial. Ron and Todd in the morning. Non-stop rock all day long. 94.5 Cats. It's the funniest show on television. It is not. It's too. It is not. It's too. From the contest. Are you still master of your domain? I'm queen of the castle. The man's here. You want me to wear a bra? A bra is for ladies. Meet the bro. Who's shrinking? I'm really sorry. I was in a pool! Time to. Nothing for you. The funniest show on television five times a week. Seinfeld. Weeknights at 7 on TIMA. 
they call me Mother Nature. I'm a plant nut. Aren't they beautiful? Look how fresh they are. You can start with a plain, flat field. This has got potential. We can create a Garden of Eden right there. Ta-da! These just came in today from a local grower. We have a guarantee on all of our plants one year. I take pride in the level of customer service that I give to you. What makes Home Depot different than everybody else is our customer service. It's great customer service. The Home Depot, where low prices are just the beginning. to uh, Hugh Grant and the lovely Carly Simon. You've never looked better, you've never sounded better. It's a great album, and uh, this weekend when you're stumbling around the mall, pick up a couple of copies right there, the bedroom tape. We'll be back tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody.